York. She's joining us live from a family-owned vineyard where she's working the line. She's got her forklift. Yes, you guys will work for wine. All right, take a look here. These are the barrels. This is kind of the first step in the process after the harvest. Now, they got all these grapes and put them in the barrels back in September, and that's what they're going to be bottling today. So once they go into the barrels, they go into these huge tanks. Now, each of these tanks represents a different varietal. But you may wonder, you're looking at this, and it's like, these are upside down. We should flip them up. Mike, you said they're supposed to be upside down. Why? They're supposed to be upside down because you want that cork to stay moist. So you have the bottle upside down. Exactly, yeah. So if you have bottles up, bottles up at home, you need to flip them upside down. Yeah, or sideways. As long as that moist, uh, that cork stays moist, then you sense. won't have a cork that comes apart. So he's the founder of Nagier Vineyards. This is a portable, mobile bottling service. I didn't even know they do this. But you said a lot of the local vineyards, the smaller ones, do this because they don't have a production line. Yeah, this is very, very common. And uh, small wineries can't afford a full-blown production line of their own. So basically, they lease or they rent these on-the-wheel production lines. Okay, so we have the big tubes. Now all the wine is coming in there. You're seeing them go through the bottles. What are you harvest or what are you doing right now? So right now what's happening is the wine comes through these hoses. Uh, the machine actually will bottle, the, uh, put the wine in the bottle. And then there's a corker that actually corks the uh, bottle. And then there's a foil. And then they put by hand over there in a box, uh -huh. and the box comes out, gets sealed, and it gets stacked up. This is so cool. Okay, so I can help. I can help. Can I help? Okay, here we go. See how heavy it is. Oh, it's kind of heavy. Wow. You got mus musculos grandes, yes? Yes. Oh, wow. Look at those guns. <laughs> Whoa, which way to the winery is that way? All right, you guys. Now, now, once it goes on here, it's going to go in the palace, and then, but there, are, you have to wait before it ends up in the tasting room because of bottle shock. What's yeah. that? Bottle shock is basically when you're pumping wine around like that, the wine gets frizzled, frazzled, I guess. So we like we has to store it for about a month or so, a month to six weeks before we can sell it, before you can actually drink it. And, and then so, and then they're going to go into the tasting room and also out for distribution. Yeah, exactly. So you say you do this for the next two days. We try to do the math. I know it's early, guys, but we estimated, what, 25,000 bottles over the next over two, two days? two days, yeah, absolutely. And okay. how is the wine going to taste this year, you think? The wine's going to be great. Now, this wine is from last year, by the way. Right, because so, you harvest? Yeah, we harvested in September. We made the wine. This is a white wine, and it goes right into bottles now, and it'll be great. Okay, so we're only giving you kind of a little bit of the process. The real magic happens on the inside, and it could present an I Love Lucy moment when I get put on the line. So make sure oh. you stay tuned. That's going to be happening live in the 9 o'clock hour. If you want to check out Nashier Vineyards, it is gorgeous up here. They have such beautiful property. You also do tours. Where are you located? We are at 18125 Rosemary Lane in Grass Valley. Uh, just Google us or look into on the website, and you'll find us. All right, guys, we will send it back to you. All right, Mel, get to work. We'll check in with you later. <laughs>